Stand by for an important weather alert. Let's find that rift. Thank you. Uh -uh. I'm involved. With who? It would be a class 5 HR violation to even hint at the identity of the subject or subjects of my infatuation. Subjects? Want me to paint you a picture? Kinda. First, we need to develop an ironclad workplace romance guide. Keep destroying file cabinets and cubicles to find HR policy documents. You got it. Employee's Guide to Workplace Romance. Now we're talking, what does it say? Office romance may seem thrilling, but there is no greater thrill than wondering what might have been. As the last embers of your golden years fade away one by one. Dang. It is a solid strategy. Let's keep looking. Can't. Interaction. You can't love what you can't meet. The Daily Grind. I don't even want to read the table of contents. That's fair enough. Mr. Guide to Workplace Mergers. Is that helpful? Let's see. When two employees find themselves enmeshed in an unexpected team building exercise, they may be tempted to enter a period of extended crunching, or perhaps even table the matter. I apologize for subjecting everyone to something so racy. What are you talking about? Oh, wait, no, I just got the table thing. like a solid book of policy. Strategies for managing workplace romantic entanglement. Aha. Uh -huh. Chapter two. Are workplace romances acceptable? If you have flipped to this chapter to learn if workplace romances are acceptable, we have a three-part answer. One, no. Two, the fact that you had to check is ample 
evidence that step three is necessary. Step three, you're fired. Books can do that? Books can do anything. Well, I guess I'm unemployed. Wait, I'm unemployed? If you'll excuse me, I have some, uh, mergers to attend to. Wait! You were the last- 